Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over my Type 63 SKS chest rig placard, otherwise known as the Crycom rig, which was custom made for me by James over at Hub City Outdoors. But before we get into this thing, it's time to acknowledge today's sponsor. So today's sponsor is Euro Optic. So if you can guess by their name, they sell optics, like all your favorite brands, Aimpoint, Trijicon, Vortex, Night Force, Hollow Sun, pretty much any optic you can think of. They also sell guns and ammo, but I think the coolest thing about the company is that what they say they have in stock, they actually have in stock. So it's not like one of those cases where it says it's in stock and then you end up waiting like six months for your thing, like other companies out there. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, all their employees there, also shooters and outdoorsmen as well. So if you have any questions on any of the products that they sell there, uh, they could probably square you away. But yeah, cool company. Go check them out. Tell them I sent you. And big thank you to them for supporting this channel. Another support of this channel is Slate Black Industries. You might know them from Nine Hole Reviews. Makes uh, M-Lock accessories like grips and panels. So if you use discount code BJO10 at checkout, it gets you 10% off there. But with out of the way, guys, let's get into this video. So what is the story behind this slick plate carrier setup I got going in here with this placard? So this kind of went goes back to after I did my Type 56 chest rig video. Shortly after that, I was like, how do I take this to the next level? So I hit up James over at Hub City Outdoors. I was like, no, it would look cool if I was able to make my Type 56 chest rig into a placard. That way I could attach it to a JPC and make the Crycom. But he said that, you know, the Type 56 chest rig is a little too tall. So he suggested using the Type 63 chest rig, which is meant for an SKS. So the pockets are a lot smaller than our one on the Type 56. So I was like, yeah, go ahead. I'll go with what your suggestion is. And he sent me this. Initially, this was gonna go onto my JPC, but you know, I took a picture of it, looked cool, because it was the Crycom, uh, mixing you know, Cry with, um, <laughs> with Chicom, but it looked cool, but it really wasn't optimal because my JPC is 1.0, so it doesn't have the Velcro on the front for this to really grab onto because this placard has Velcro on the back of it. That way it can kind of keep in place like a normal placard would. So if I show you here, this is what it looks like. This is how it came initially. And then I had little uh, swift clip attachment points on the side of my JPC to kind of keep it in place, but it really wasn't optimal because you know, my JPC was just had Molly right here. So it kind of jostled up and down. And then I saw I had this slick plate carrier here from Chase. And I was like, no, it would really look cool if I was able to mount my Crycom um, rig to my slick plate carrier. The only problem with this plate carrier is it didn't have the placard attachment points here. So I had to get these added on by James. He did that for me as well. And he also made me a really cool attachment method to the back here. So this slick plate carrier has a flap on the back, like a lot of them do. So he created these little tabs that I can stick on here, and that's on both sides. I can just lower this flap, and then I have a little attachment point to attach the back side of this placard to. So really cool uh, rig. It's honestly one of my favorite uh, plate carrier setups. Uh, it's pretty scalable too because I could kind of take this thing off if I wanted to run the uh, just a slick plate carrier, you know, without a um, you know a placard on it, a little bit more low vis I could. But if I really wanted to just kind of like load this thing up, it's pretty easy to attach this, you know, Chicom pl uh, placard to it. And I have five mags here. I've run a radio in these pouches before. I have little pouches here on the sides. Usually I put a multi tool in it, but I guess if I was going to take this out to like. A Milsim West game, I could probably run frags in it, but uh, yeah, it's just a nice little kind of simple plate carrier setup. Plus, I like uh, slick plate carriers too, especially if like in a civilian kind of role, because they're really easy to run a backpack on the back of here. That's what I did at Milsim West, not with this slick plate carrier, with a different one, but I was using an assault pack in conjunction with it, no problem. I was even able to ruck with um, at the beginning of that game with a Alice pack on my back with a slick plate carrier on, no problem. So that's kind of an upside to having just 
nothing on the back and running something like this. Not saying that this is like the most optimal uh, placard, you know, chest rig system combo that you can do. I think it just looks cool. Um, I even ran this kind of get up, this exact same setup here at the Tactical Games. Um, no problem at all. Was climbing up ropes, going through tunnels, crawling around, uh, doing, you know, like log presses and stuff like that. You know, held the mags great. I think the one uh, downside to this rig is kind of reinserting mags is kind of hard. What I ended up doing though is uh, putting little STAC Kiwi inserts into these. So if I can take one out here. These are the mids. So you can buy, when you buy these things, you can buy the short ones, the mid ones, and then the long ones. I've kind of fucked up and bought the mids. I think I would be better suited if I bought the long ones and put them in there. That way, if you're trying to reinsert a mag, it keeps this kind of um, the pouch open. That way it's easier to get in there. The, with the mids, you, it's it's better with without one, but uh, then without one. But if I had the tall ones, it would be able to kind of like get this thing a little bit more open and easier to get the mags back in if you're trying to re-index a mag. But other than that, it's a pretty good rig. And yes, and this started off as kind of a prototype. I think I was the first one to do these with James. He might have done them before, but. He has now started selling them on his website. So shameless shill for James. Um, I don't get paid by him or anything like that. I just want to support the homies. Um, there should be a link in the description here where you can actually buy these, uh, you know, Chicom placards. And the only reason I did, you know, I did a video on this because a bunch of you guys were asking what this whole rig was right here. So I finally decided to answer that question for you. Well, that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider dropping a like and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram at BlueGeneOperator or go to my website, thebluegeneoperator.com to find some cool shirts and merch which helps support this channel. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date whenever I decide to post a new video. And that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.